How do you adjust the brake pedal on your Sport Glide? Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralpha.com and click the bell next to the subscribe button for all future videos. So, in this video, I'm talking about Hard Davidson Sport Glide. I'm talking about the uh, the rear brake pedal and how can you adjust it. Now, uh, quite a few people have been contacting me about making adjustments to it. Okay, so let's say you want to adjust braking pressure. Well, you can't really do that uh, with a, you know, a braking system, a modern braking system, uh, in that uh, it's all regulated by the, um, by the, uh, by the master cylinder here. Uh, which is this component right here. Uh, basically, you put in uh, pedal pressure and then it uh, converts that through the pistons into a fluid pressure, which then goes back to the caliper at the rear uh, and then that pushes in the pistons at the rear and then compresses the pads onto the disc. Uh, so there's no real adjustability there. All you can do is adjust the position of the pedal itself. Now in older uh, braking systems, let's say the cable type, uh, cable and drum, uh, what you could do, you can make adjustments at the front as in the position of the, uh, the actual pedal and then you could adjust the rear of the cable to uh, tighten it up or loosen it up so you could actually control where the, um, where the braking uh, point occurred. On this you can't, uh, it's all hydraulic and it's all self-adjusting uh, in there as well in terms of the hydraulic pressure. So the only thing you can do is change the brake pedal position. I'm going to show you how you do that. Okay, so probably the best way to do it is take the camera off and I'm going to talk about it directly here. Now, I don't need my brake pedal uh, changing, so I'm not going to do it on mine, but I'm going to show you exactly how uh, I've done it in the past to do it. And this is how you do it. Okay, so this is the brake pedal uh, here, of course. And there are a couple of components here. Uh, there is the retaining bolt here, and that's got a Torx uh, head there, and you've got the brake master cylinder there. Right behind the cylinder there, you've got this point here, okay? Now, the brake pedal is on a pin, goes into there, and uh, it's located right down, there's the nut at the back of it there. So if you want to take the brake pedal off, all you need to do is undo that bolt there and you could take the, the pedal off. No drama. So let's say if you wanted to uh, change to black type of pedals, something like that, or aftermarket pedals, whatever it is, you just do that. That's all you do. Okay, so to make the adjustment, all you're doing here is adjusting this point here. The pedal, the pedal at the back of it has a lever. That lever is connected to the piston that goes into the uh, master cylinder. So what you need to do, which is this point here. So on the other side there, on the other side there, there is a pin. You pull out the pin and you pull out this part here, this point there. See the pin there? Right there, there's the pin there. So you pull that out. That that releases the brake pedal from the piston. The next thing you do is actually, see this point here? You actually rotate it. You rotate it out or you rotate it in. Rotate it out, rotate it, and that will either lengthen it or shorten it, depending on which way you go. So if you lengthen it, what happens is that the brake pedal is pushed forward. If you lengthen it out, the brake pedal is pushed forward. If you wind it back in, the brake pedal is pulled back up. Once you've found the correct position for you, then what you need to do is pop the pin back in uh, into there and also connect it up to the back of the uh, brake pedal. Put the pin back in on the other side. And that's it, job done. Now, some of you might be asking, what is the correct pedal position? Uh, well, actually, that is purely subjective. It really depends on you, where you prefer it. There is no right or wrong answer here. It depends where you prefer your brake pedal. So all you need to do, as I say, is you don't need to take off the brake pedal. All you need to do is remove that pin, uh, the little pit split pin at the back, remove the pin, unwind or wind in the uh, bracket at the back of the back of the 
piston that goes into the master cylinder, tighten it back up, connect it all back up, put the split pin back in, and then that's your uh, brake pedal set. That's it, that's how you do it. Uh, anyway, so hopefully you'll find the setting that is right for you. So you know, I've only had to make a minor adjustment to mine for my uh, big old feet, but that's about it. But say, so you'll find the setting that suits you, but you wind it in or you wind it out uh, according to whatever position you find most comfortable and experiment with it and that, that'll probably be the best way to do it well hope you found that useful please like share subscribe leave those comments below check out the website revelatorelf.com click the bell next to the subscribe button i will catch you again bye now